Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive drugstore haul for you. The um, chain, the drugstore chain, Joanne Reed, that I really like, one of the locations is closing and there are phenomenal deals to be had. So I've made a couple of different trips and bought some things and I may still make one more trip before they close at the end of the month, but so far this is what I have picked up. Um, and Aria is joining us. She's sitting over here in her little cheerleading outfit. I posted a video of her, um, a photo of her in this outfit on Instagram. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Um, so I also have a couple of things from Bye Bye Baby, and I'll do this last. Um, the first things, this is the first trip that I made, but I think I'm going to save it for last because it's the most stuff. And, um... This is the trip that I just made yesterday, and I'm pretty excited about it, so I'm going to show you what I found. Um, the Aiden and Anai brand has a new line of um, muslin blankets. They're called Ideal Baby, and these were retailing for about $14.99 to $19.99, as far as I could tell, and they've only had them at the store for a couple of weeks. I walked in yesterday, and they were sitting on the front table and they were marked down to $1.99. So I got this elephant print. It's like a mint, a gray, and a lime. I won't be keeping this one. This one is for a gift, um, but I did pick that one up. I also picked up two of the elephant print bib sets. These were $2.49 each, and they come with three bibs. So there's the elephant print, and then this adorable little cloud print, and then this really really cute raindrop print um, and these are the same muslin as the blankets so those were just a phenomenal deal I was really excited to find those and I also found the girly blanket so this is the gray teal and pink hearts and this is of course for my scarlet kit who has a theme of hearts it was also $1.99 then this bag um, has I found the heart print nook. This is the sippy cup, but the parts do interchange. So I'm just going to take the sippy top off and put on the bottle top. Some of you may remember that I had found the nine ounce heart print bottle. And I was saying for the scarlet kit that I wish I had been able to find the smaller one. So I did find it and I only paid a dollar 19 for this. They normally retail for 10 99 at Dwayne Reed and I paid a dollar 19 for that. I also got, just for myself, a couple of cans of hairspray. They were 90 cents. They had been $9, so they were like 90% off. And then I have several sippy cups. Um, let's see. These two are the same. These are the only color that they had still left in stock. I paid 45 cents for these. They normally retail for $4.89. And I also picked up these two, the blue and the green. Again, I paid 45 cents for these and they normally retail for $4.89. These are the slightly larger size and they don't have the handles included. And then I bought a tremendous um, stack of greeting cards, all of their greeting cards for 75% off. So I bought, most of these are, um, are repeats because they're thank you notes that have butterflies on them. My grandmother loved butterflies, and um, I've picked up kind of all of the thank you notes that I could find. And then I also mixed in a couple of birthday cards for people that have birthdays coming up. So this is a, a big bulk of my purchase during that particular trip. And the other can of hairspray. So then we have this kind of big bag back here, which is actually made up of two trips. So I found these packs of hand warmers, and I think I paid a dollar. I think I paid a dollar for these, um, and I bought a couple of different packs of them. They're all the same. It's going to be winter time here soon. I also bought a pack of the nose Frida filters. These were like a dollar and change, and they're normally I think about ten bucks. They also had, I wish they would have had more of these, I would have bought them. They also had these little, this is the Dwayne Reader, the Walgreens brand. These are the hand and face wipes. 
and they are normally $3.29 and I got them for $0.82 cents a pack. So I bought all three of the packs that they had. And then the last thing was I bought these little self-stick gems and either for scrapbooking for the Reborns or maybe to do some passy modifications. Um, I think these were like $0.60, cents, $0.70, cents, something like that, and they're normally about $3.00. Then I have this guy. So I found a three pack of the Playtex Ventier bottles. These um, are normally about 20 bucks at that store and I got them for $3.14. So I picked up those. I wish I would have bought the other packs that they had, but I didn't do it. Um, and they are sold out of them now. I also found some cute little Mickey Mouse Christmas bags. These were 14 cents each. And I think I have four here. I thought I bought six. There might be some more hiding down in there. I bought all the ones that they had of this print. So 14 cents each. And then I picked up a four pack of bowls and the matching cups. I got these for 50 cents each. I'm not sure if I will be um, gifting them or keeping them to do some reborn videos with, but I do have. Um, four cups and four bowls there. Then I found these really cute toys. I'm not sure if anyone is familiar with the O-Ball toys, but I just bought one of these actually for my little baby cousin and I think I paid $12 or $14 for it at a, um, at a boutique and um, they had these clearanced out. They were not very expensive. So these are of course for the reborn toddler um, boy. And Aria can play with them too, um, but I got the car and I got the, the ball that rattles. Then I picked up some other toys. So I bought two of these teethers. One of them is for a gift and I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm going to be keeping this other one, but I'm not positive. I try to only buy things that match a theme and these don't match any of my current themes. Um, but it is very, very cute. So it's basically just a, it's supposed to be like a diamond ring. So this is the jewel. And then um, it's just a little teething toy and these bits spin and make noise and all of that. So I thought those were really cute and I got them for a really good deal. And then I picked up these two rattles and I have actually been wanting these for a really long time. They retail for about $10 and I only paid, I think, like around $1.50 or so for them. Um, so I got the lion, and I also picked up the panda bear. So the panda bear is for the Tegan kit that I'm ordering next year. That's my Asian baby, and I just I could not pass the panda up. So these are really cute. Again, they're an infantino toy, and they rattle, and they have wings that move. And then um, these bits are crinkly on the sides, and this is like super soft and fuzzy. Then I picked up two more toys that I've been wanting for a really long time, and they are duplicates. Um, these retail, I think, for like $21.99, and I got them for around $5. So these are the Infantino Lambs. They're kind of like Sophie. They're sort of a squeaky, chewy um, silicone toy, and I've really wanted the lambs for a long time. So again, one of these is probably going to be a gift, and the other one I am keeping for myself. Um, I just thought those were so, so cute. Alright guys, we're coming to the end here. The last couple of things that I have, let me just make sure I have it all. Yep. Okay, so the last thing, three things that I have are these Raz Baby pacifiers. I only paid, I think, about $1.50 for these and they're normally much more expensive. So these are the passies that when you drop them, they close and protect the teeth. So these will be probably some that I keep unmodified. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna put them in my Etsy store or if I'm gonna keep them for myself. I think this one is probably going to be a gift. This little clownfish Nemo guy is probably going to be a gift because I know someone who really loves clownfish and she's having a baby boy. And then I also found the little yellow bear and I also found the little blue puppy. So I would have loved um, to have been able to find the penguins. I really want the penguins, 
um, but they didn't have them and I bought all the ones that they have now and they're not going to be getting more in obviously because they're closing. So the last thing that I have is I have just three things from Bye Bye Baby and I want to show you what they are. Um, so when they clearanced out these milk cups at Dwayne Reed, unfortunately, um, I wasn't there the day that they clearanced them out. I went up a day or so later and they were gone. So, um, I missed out on the butterfly, but I really wanted the butterfly for Aria. My grandmother loved butterflies and Aria has a lot of butterfly clothes because Aria is a baby that my grandmother and I bought together and I really wanted this cup for her. So I ran down to Bye Bye Baby and I paid the full $8 price for it. Um, but it was worth it to me to have this print. So this is the Milk Trendline sippy cup and um, that belongs to Miss Aria. And I also picked up, um, I'm going to take the packaging off of one of them so that you can see it. I picked up two of the same item. So this is what they look like. Mm -hmm. And it is the Honest Company. It's a little silicone butterfly teether. Um, and I had given one of these to my cousin when she had her baby boy and my sister is now having a baby so I've purchased one for her and I have also bought one for myself to keep so um, there are two of those and that concludes this crazy ridiculous haul um, like I said I might try to get back to Dwayne Reed again before they close at the end of the month um, but for now that's everything that I have picked up in this clearance haul and I hope that you've enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.